Come on, England. Um, we're at the Bell by the Green. Uh, it's day two of our adventure to London. Andy's feeling better. Just Hello, doggy. And we have Tom Pez joining us today. Hey. Talk to Honey Street. This is brilliant. Are you going to camp over stick. with us, Tom? Sorry? Are you going to camp over tonight? Uh, I don't think so. I'm going to Kieran's for dinner. Kieran's? Yeah. Really, he should walk over from uh, Elstoke, Maybe shouldn't Maybe we'll give him a call and see if he wants to come too. Hmm. Even if it's just for the camping part, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That'd be quite fun. You right, Lee? Blinding me, yeah. Uh, the bow by the green. Anyway, um, we managed to feature today into the to our Western Daily Press newspaper. <laughs> And it is 10 o'clock, I guess. We're going to go shopping in Morrison's. Even though Morrison's, uh, I can approach them for sponsorship, but they dedicate a lot of their money to other causes. Yeah. Is that a good model, Lee? It's okay. Is that a good model? Is that better than your bike? Um, that is T1000. You see, it's got a nice lock. Nice lock on that bike. Some okay. safety skill. How's it going? Okay. I'm a fellow postman from Westbury. All oh, right. Just comparing bikes. That was all. Yeah. And your <laughs> bike's in a lot better. <laughs> no, it's in a lot better condition. <laughs> How's your stand? Is it going yet? Oh yeah, it works. Oh, excellent. Works. Yeah. Take care anyway. Uh, <laughs> busted. <laughs> busted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. That's vulnerable it. to attack. Oh, hello, Lee. Vulnerable to attack from below. Lee's just filming me in the background. Uh oh, we've hit a bit of an impasse. We've hit an impasse here. Um, we've got a swan. We're going to find out if it's true what they say about a swan being able to break your leg with one flap of its wing. Let's break your arm with its beak. Or is it in a male swan can break a female swan's heart Take your head off with one flap of its wing? Right, you cyclists are going to solve our problem for us now by the looks of it. Just going to wait to see how this dilemma pans out. I reckon Maybe it's going to be 1 0 to the cyclist when this one's neck snaps. I think you put them down in front of the piano, totally. Yeah. Right. Andy, my it's a game of chicken now. Yes, yeah, game of chicken. Place your bets. Bye bye, sweetheart. I love you. Alright, Connor, let's move in. Hello, see what happens. A bit, bit of an impasse here, haven't we? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> we were just saying, we're going to find out if it's really true what they say about a swan's wings being able to break your leg. Oh, right. <laughs> Have you got any sort of sacrificial people? You could... Yeah, Lee, <laughs> you've been slowing us up all morning. Get in there. Four straws or something like that. <laughs> Got to take one out of the hat each. <laughs> Look, this isn't your path, is it? Come on. Go on, Lee. Don't try to so we can reason with it. Yeah, when I get to the back. All right. Let's I know how to reason with it. I've got a dog! <laughs> Can't reason with it. Uh oh, it's coming towards you, Leander. See, that, Leander, that's a great idea. Hey, 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 hey! In front of it first, so you can see what it is. got mozzarella and peppers in. Oh, this whole time I've been filming the hedge. I was sort of <laughs> lost, I just, just, just missed all the action. Now away from us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Away from yeah, I've done, I've done the taster. I've done the taster. Just, just behind it to begin with so we can get the idea of what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, it's mozzarella bit. <laughs> 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 I'm going to go for it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you're swamp food, mate! Well, the cyclists are making progress, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, you're making progress! <laughs> we have to turn around! I can't believe we've been beaten by a swan! <laughs> there must be a way round. The doggy allowed a bit. Yeah. Oh, battery's about to go. You'll never know how this finished.
Right, we're approaching Honey Street very shortly. I think that's it up ahead. It looks like we're running out of battery, so I'm going to charge up on the way there. In the conversation a bit, but... mate, you did well. I thought I'd, I'd give you ten out of ten for effort, you know. Thanks, yeah. I did. There's no rest on the west side. Totally, Andrew. There's no rest from the west side. It's uh, it's Sunday morning, and uh, we're just woken up. It's probably well, I say just woke up, but up for about half hour. It's about half past seven. We're packing everything up. You're right, Andy. Yeah, I'm fine. You? Yeah. How's your back? You. How's your back, Leander? Oh, mate, it's not good. That's my mattress. Oh, really? My mattress was the floor. My mattress was a Ken an Avon Canal mat. Which wasn't very comfortable. It was flat. Oh, well, the best you could say about it, isn't it? How are you this morning, Lee? Ah, uh, yeah. You good? Hardcore Walford has managed to uh, get for another day. Hardcore, he knows the score. We all have, really. We got for another day, guys. That's what matters. We've made it. Yeah, it's my last day today. I know. Forward to it. Really it's a bit emotional. It's sad to be going, but also looking forward to seeing my good home, seeing my family. Um, Day three. It looks like you're crying. Maybe. Yeah, that's so really funny. Right now, just because I am crying a bit. Mm. When you're hot. Sort some shampoo in my eye. That's right. <laughs> Little barber. Yeah, I'm getting quite a few emotions today as well. Just one. Signing out. <laughs>